Uma, duas, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, o oh, a. What's up guys, Derek, moreplates.com. Today we're going to be doing another pre-workout video. Interestingly enough, I've been uh, getting quite the uh, recommendations lately and another uh, ridiculous gem of a video seems to have popped up out of the woodwork. This is actually a pretty old one, but it is uh, like you thought the chubby emu eight scoop guy pre-workout was intense. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. Like, first of all, we found out that the chubby emu one was pretty embellished in order to make it, you know, more of an exciting story, more of a clickable um, topic, which is fine. You know, that's, uh, you know, his thing that he does that, um, you know, really entices a broader audience, I'm assuming, which then allows him to have his scientific content then reach a greater audience that otherwise might have only clicked something that is very, very, you know, sensationalized or whatever. So that's totally cool. But this one, is apparently totally legit. I don't know for certain it is, maybe the guy's fucking around, but I got notified of a post on the Discord. This uh, Brazilian guy took 10 doses of Jack 3D. Just watched since two minutes and 40 seconds. He took it because it appeared in the news that a guy had died due to taking four scoops of it. He keeps saying in the video, let's see if I'm gonna die in Portuguese. So. <laughs> We're gonna watch the video. You guys can let me know if this is accurate or not because I don't fucking understand Portuguese, obviously, but we're gonna look at Scarpelli Official, 10 doses of Jack 3D. This guy has a pretty big channel. So like, obviously he fucking survived because if you click on his channel, he is indeed still alive and his most recent post was nine months ago. So unless he has died since then, well, actually, I guess let's look at his Instagram and see if he has indeed died or not. So here we are on his page. Have my Google set to translate from Portuguese. 412,000 followers, and he is uh, sponsored by Dragon Pharma. And uh, he posted four fucking hours ago. So obviously the guy is alive and well, and he did indeed survive the 10 doses of Jack 3D. But <laughs> I, like, I'm like i surprised I didn't come across this sooner. He has the comments turned off, and surprisingly, the like to dislike ratio is ridiculously good. So maybe I've been uh, misinformed, but hopefully some of the uh, Portuguese speaking um, guys here can let us know if this is indeed legit. But here he is. He shows up in the video. What is this? Attention something. This video is a something. Something, something, something. Something, 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 something. <laughs> like what the fuck am I doing? Supplements. Confirm something. His website. Access his fucking supplement site. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so let's get to that. That was quite the long intro, dude. Jesus, put on some fucking pants. Essa porra dessas reportagens fazendo sensacionalismo. Essa merda aqui, mano. Isso aqui te dá uma surra. Com isso daqui eu te mato. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have some English translating here. See if it. See if it helps at all. Apparently the closed captioning is like not very accurate even on my videos where you're literally trying to get subtitles for English subtitles for an English speaking person. Apparently it doesn't work too well and there are lots of uh, weird funny shit will pop up on my, on my video so I can just imagine what trying to translate Portuguese into English will be on this old video with shitty audio. <laughs> this pre-workout kills woods. Como me explica como que eu não sei? Fucking woods, bro. Tem que tomar muito para morrer? Porque se tomar pouco não mata, né? Então tem que tomar muito. Say like this guy's already on pre-workout. He hasn't even fucking taken it yet. Vamos ver se essa porra mata. Vamos ver. Okay, so the thing is already cracked open. So I don't know how legit, you know, this could easily be fake. The guy could have just put random powder in here. So um, there's that off the bat. 
you know how ineffective a supplement is when you actually see the scoop size and you realize like, holy shit, there's almost no active ingredients in this fucking thing. Like, look at that scoop. It's like just enough to get literally your caffeine, your DMAA, and then a micro dose of some sort of like performance blend. And that's fucking it. But that's all you need, dude, because the DMAA will knock you on your fucking ass. At least, again, when I say that's all you need, it's for the fucking stim junkies who don't care about literally anything except being cracked out of their goddamn mind. Have to take a dosage very much to the Flemish to be able to kill. Even this guy's water bottle is fucking hardcore. Vamos ver. Querer comparar, porra, a gente que é marombeiro com um boçal, filho da puta, que me aplica. Sepão! Isso de ouro, panca essa porra que mata. Mata o meu peru. Vamos ver se mata. Vamos ver. Eu aposto que ninguém nunca tomou 10 doses dessa porra. Vamos ver se vai matar. Hey, if this guy's this high energy on nothing, imagine him on how many milligrams of DMAA would that be if he actually took that much? Well, I guess the rest of the video is just him fucking freaking out and him talking about if he's going to die or not. Maybe one of you guys can interpret and let me know exactly what he says just to make sure this is uh, even what he's talking about. But I wanted to go look at the OG Jack 3D to kind of see even what the fucking formula was and kind of compare it to uh, current stuff and see what we're dealing with because it's like a very very you know historical landmark product and many of us had the uh um experience trying it and back in the day like i didn't know if it was good formula wise i just knew it had dmaa and it fucking hit hard so i'm gonna go look and uh see how it looks so i dug around a little bit i found this one site that had the uh supplement facts panel here and it seemed to be corroborated by a few different sites that had the uh the same supplement facts panel with the one scoop proprietary blend of 4,145 milligrams. So the best looking site I found was this, where it showed the actual bottle. So this is legitimately the OG product for USP labs, and it has 45 servings per container. Now, the prop blend, again, as you guys probably know by now, it's an order of how high of quantity the ingredient is in it. So you know that the arginine AKG in here is the highest dosed ingredient in the blend, then comes creatine, then comes beta alanine, then comes caffeine, then 1,3-DMAA, then schizandra extract, as well, and then that's it. That's the, <laughs> that's the whole formula. So as far as like performance products, what is going to give you nitric oxide? We're looking at arginine AKG. Is that a good form of uh, a nitric oxide precursor? Frankly, not really. I fucking hate oral arginine. To be honest, Ar arginine AKG is not my favorite thing of all the options available. I would rather see if you're trying to conserve space and you're going to use an arginine preparation. I think inositol stabilized arginine silicate is better, which would be nitrosogene. But obviously in a powder formula, what is stopping you from using an efficacious dose of alcitrulline besides not wanting to spend the money and or just not giving a fuck at all? And in this case, it's probably the not giving a fuck and not wanting to spend money. Creatine monohydrate, cheapest product out there, and yet literally the efficacious dose is five grams and the entire prop blend is less than five grams. So that just shows you off the bat how underdosed this, how cheap this product really was to make. They literally didn't even take the time and money to put in five grams of creatine when creatine's in the product. 
And the thing probably cost like a handful of bucks to make at most. Like I bet you the bottle and packaging of this shit cost more than the ingredients in here. That's how skimmed down this product was. The margins on this were probably fucked. All you're doing pretty much is putting flavored caffeine and 1,3 DMAA in a bottle and selling it. So RGN, AKG, and creatine were probably looking at <laughs> what? Like two grams each at most. Like RGN, AKG, maybe two grams. Creatine, maybe two grams at best. And obviously we all know that's not really an efficacious dose, nor is it even some spitting in your fucking face. Oh, and it has beta alanine too. Sorry. So you're probably looking at me, maybe like 1500 AKG, 1500 creatine, 1000 beta alanine. So obviously none of these doses are efficacious. And imagine being forced to take fucking 1,3 DMA every single day in order to get your beta alanine in. Obviously not going to be not going to work. And even when it's underdose, you'd have to fucking like triple scoop this shit just to get your saturation of beta alanine in. Um, so let's see, AKG, creatine, beta alanine, severely underdosed. Now we get to the caffeine. What is this? I don't know, probably fucking 200 to 300 milligrams. I don't know for sure, but it's probably not heavily dosed to the point that it is, you know, like a high stem caffeine product. Well, actually it might be, but I mean, we don't really know. I'm just speculating that they probably would not put in a shit ton considering they have a fat hit of 1,3 DMAA in here. So the 1,3 DMAA, what would it be at? I would speculate between 40 and 75 milligrams. I would imagine from how hard this shit hit and it being the thing to buy at the time and it being so original and so like, this being the heavy hitting product of the industry, I imagine they probably pushed the limits were probably at 60 or 70 milligrams. I don't know for sure. And then the Shizandra extract, pretty much fucking pointless to be in here. Pretty much this whole formula is pointless, except for it's pretty much just caffeine and one three DMAA flavored powder sold for probably 40 bucks or something. And it probably cost them like a handful of bucks to make, you know, that's how fucking like stimulants are not expensive. Fucking creatine's not expensive, but still, they even skimped on that. So it's just interesting to go back and look at formulas that you thought like back in the day, like, wow, that was like the fucking best shit ever. And in reality, all we were doing is pretty much taking amphetamines and going to the gym. Like that, that's all this shit really was back in the day. There was no fucking performance enhancing elements other than the sympathetic drive you get out of these stimulants. So if I was to make this better, like what would I be adding? Well, pretty much just look at Gorilla, <laughs> Gorilla Mo Nitric, and that would be like that on top of fucking this would be like the most hyped up fucking amphetamine type driven product ever. And that's, you know, sort of like what you would expect from something like Gorilla Mine Rush plus Nitric, to be honest. Or to be honest, and something that a lot of people have not tried, which I'm surprised at is I've spoke about it before, Alpha 2 AM. This is a fat burner that's stimulant based, but what a lot of people don't realize is the product is literally called Alpha 2 AM because it is based off of antagonism of alpha 2 adrenergic receptors, which is something that drives up adrenaline significantly. So this product is a lot more racy, sympathetic driven, adrenaline driven type product than Gorilla Mode. So Gorilla Mode is a smooth stimulant based formula. It has a fucking shit ton of caffeine and area gerensis extract and is still very potent. But if you're a stim junkie mega, you know, you need a big hit of something and you're one of those guys who says, oh, I don't feel Gorilla Mode, uh, it's fucking weak. Get Alpha 2 AM and add it to Nitric. That will be literally the equivalent of like the most high stim pre-workout on the entire market, plus the most hyper maxed out fucking performance vectors of every single nitric oxide precursor, hyperhydrating agent, plasma expanding, blah, blah, blah. It'd be totally maxed out and you would get the adrenaline and stim hit that you want, which I don't know why more people don't take advantage of that. Maybe they just don't, don't know because I haven't made a dedicated video to it, but Alpha 2 AM is a heavily slept on stimulant product that is great for cardio, like for fasted cardio and for burning fat and for killing your appetite. But in addition to that, if you wanted to opt out of using a stimulant-based pre-workout like Mode or Energy, you could just get rid of those entirely, use Alpha 2 AM as your kind of like stim base, which has more racy type shit like isopropyl norsinephrine, high dose of caffeine, high dose of N-phenethyl dimethylamine citrate, Raoul sign, shit that is going to make you really feel the fucking thing. That's what that product is. It is literally adrenaline in a bottle and you will feel it. And then you can add that on top of nitric and that is boom, your one, two hit of heavy duty adrenaline ridden stim plus the maxed out performance vectors of nitric. So if for anyone who says mode is too weak, that's your fucking stack, dude, go look at that. And we should really do like a stack uh, combo on the website for those two to have them at a cheaper price. And I will literally go message, uh, 
the team after this and see that we can add a combo on there actually it will be uh back in stock soon if it's not in stock currently by the way but anyways as far as going back to uh jack 3d that's literally what this is dude it's uh just a stim hit not even like a comprehensive stim hit it's just like well we have the fucking hyper the fucking hyper effective essentially just fucking amphetamine in a bottle flavored and we're gonna sell it for you know whatever they sold it for how this guy survived i would speculate it would be like, you know, maybe you could tolerate it. I don't know. I wouldn't even want to venture to guess. And, you know, like there's no point of fucking experimenting to find out. I don't know if he actually took it, to be honest. Hopefully somebody who speaks Portuguese can interpret this better. It's not like I have any interpretation other than what I was provided on the Discord. But comments are also disabled, so I can't even figure out what the fuck he did. Maybe this guy was just doing this to promote his uh, supplement you know website or whatever the fuck i don't really know but pretty interesting that a million view video of 10 doses of jack 3d has not picked up steam <laughs> since 2011 so i thought i would bring that to the forefront um let me know what you guys think below and any of the uh portuguese speaking audience please let us know what he said in the video yeah uh, thank you guys for watching like subscribe check out my blog moreplacemoredates.com follow me on instagram at moreplacemoredates Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, Nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas. I designed myself from scratch. There's a discount code down there as well if you want to save 10% off your order. Um, I recommended lab tests and diagnostics to stay on top of your health and your biomarkers. And anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.